They don't have a history of mass mob, and that's why he doesn't know what he's talking about. I have nothing against Mbalula. All I did to him was, is the EFF that declared shutdown. It's not the Malema family. And you guys fairly so. You go to him and say, the EFF has declared shutdown. What do you think? Yeah, that Malema can go. That Ma No journalist said Malema has declared shutdown. So when you talk about this issue be, uh, degenerating and, and all of that, if you want to get it right, go to the real cause. The Secretary General of the ANC uh, demonstrated the, the lowest level the ANC has ever been. The lowest level where the ANC, the ANC has never been at this lowest level, both in thinking and in character. There's nothing comparable, for instance, between Mbalula and Joel Nesten. I just gave you an example of the best of the best the ANC has ever produced. We don't agree with Joel on issues, but we can't take it away that he's a thinker. We don't agree with his politics. Now, the Secretary General of the ANC is the highest, highest level of the degeneration of the ANC. It can no longer be beyond this. This is the last level. Where have you ever seen Khalima Mutante doing that? One of the people who occupied that position. You know, when Khalima Mutante uh, spoke after the NEC, some of us were not married. Half the time after activities of the organization during the day, at night were at social places. And then someone says, the SG is speaking uh, later today at 7 or now. The SG is speaking now. And we're busy dancing and all of the music will be shut down to listen to the Secretary General of the ANC. Oh, the Secretary General of the ANC spoke when it mattered. Not this thing of speaking every time you go to toilet, when you come back constipated, you want to say something. No. That is demonstration of the degeneration the ANC has ever experienced. From that night, from that evening, till today, till to date, he's still tweeting and talking about the EFF national shutdown. The Secretary General of the ANC. Why? Because there are no longer veterans there. Who can say to him, but you get into your Ima, Ima, Mbalula, Ima. No one, no, there's no longer anyone. Ramaphosa is excited because he thinks it's his personal defense, but he doesn't see that this is actually destroying the office of Secretary General, who wants to create some non existing beef. Because Mbalula was told, he listened to that nonsense, and I told him when he called me, I said, You listened to that nonsense that Malema has made, has made his match. And you're taking it literally. 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 I don't ANC. I know how to poke them. I poke them deliberately and I know how they're going to react. Mbalula always. You know, just never. I just, after the, the, the shutdown, I, someone sent me a picture of me with the EFF log. And then I put it there. I wrote a, uh, action killer man go and see what he put today a picture of himself <laughs> <laughs> when i tell you i've got them by here you think i'm playing <laughs> he went to take a picture of himself did exactly what i did <laughs> so he, he's, he, he he took that thing literally and and he can't think and he even says to me yeah when you attack the ANC, you are attacking me. I'm the ANC. You are not the ANC. You are nothing. Who are you? I have no problem with Mbalula attack the EFF. You, ca you can't hear me uh, intervening. The EFF has got capable young men and women 
will put him at this place. But why are you coming for me? And you coming for me because of your proximity to me. And you think that they will use you to destroy me. I have no time for ANC people. They don't like me. Even himself doesn't like me. He's envious of me. So why, why should I be worried about them? He envies me. They do that. All of them. So, especially the ones I grew up with in the youth league, they envy me. And, and if they get an opportunity, they will kill me. Because the problem with envy is that this guy has now led a shutdown. How do I lead a shutdown? Then you are unable to meet these things that you are competing with this guy about. And it becomes something else. So, he is not having any agenda, none whatsoever. He's just going crazy because they said to him, Malema has made his marriage. I'm not scared of Mbalul. He has never done anything for me. I don't need anything from him. I am where I am because of my own commitment to the revolution. I'm not Mbalula's child. And he will never intimidate me. I won't be intimidated by Mbalula. I, I, they tried many presidents, not even secretary generals of the ANC. Many. He's a clown that knows very well, can't do anything. And he must stop pushing me. He wants to come personal. I will be extremely personal. Then you will talk about degeneration. I have a huge respect for his family. And a huge respect for his wife, a dignified woman. To an extent that if I attack his family, it means I'll be attacking that woman. He's got children who are now older who hear these things. Why should we be personal with wives and children who are older who can follow this thing and get hurt personally by such things? We shouldn't. We shouldn't, but he must not push me. I'm not a push around. I can, I can come just once, once on him. It will be done. And I don't want to do that. So he must keep my family name out of his mouth. That's all I'm asking for. The rest of the politics, I'm okay with them. I don't care. I have no problem. I just want briefly, no, in a very brief way, all of us ought to ask ourselves, DP, what is a shutdown? In an English definition, man, what is a shutdown? Amongst other things, it means temporary suspension of operations and or business. Have you not experienced that? If you have experienced that, there was a shutdown. So we have returned to the Speaker uh, of uh, Parliament to establish Portfolio Committee on the President. And uh, matters have also been taken to the Rules Committee, as it were, uh, because we believe that if, for instance, tomorrow he wants to steal the water, money from water department, he might come and say there is a problem of water in South Africa and I want to run it, I want it close to me, uh, bring it to the, uh, of my office. So it's now a uh, water department in the presidency and then it's being shielded from that accountability. And I do not appreciate why both black and white were not alarmed by that that so many departments get put under one office which has got no oversight committee on it. And the president is not prepared to budge on the oversight, which confirms that the, that thing he was saying is the most transparent president who's available uh, to take accountability has never allowed parliament to hold him accountable. The panel said he must be held accountable. He refused. Uh, yesterday, we said, let's do the ad hoc committee to hold him accountable. He refused. And uh, now his office has got no oversight committee. The man is a law unto himself. And the sooner we realize, uh, the better for our country. You mentioning Minister of Transport. That Minister of Transport was single-handedly picked by Minister Mbalul. He had two options on that minister. He had Zizi Gordo and he had uh, uh, this current minister. 
because he wanted someone he can control. And they picked this one. It is how he operate Mbalula. When this when the letter came at 2 a.m., I knew it's him. Mbalula used to call us at night when we were trying to resolve issues in conferences with one phone call. Disrupt! Disrupt! Disrupt the conference on the phone. Mbalula used to call. When we, the letter came at 1, I knew it's Mbalula. And I told him, I, I said, I knew it's you who said uh, to this comrade, Stop, stop, stop those buses. If they know who's giving uh, subsidies here and uh, a child, uh, what do you call it? Scholar transport. transport. If they know who's giving those tenders, they, they must stop those things. Stop it. They didn't care whether it was constitutional or not. A legal party that has announced its program two months before does nothing underground, operates above the law. The state says it must not be given buses through the secretary general of the party, who's no longer in government, by the way, but still controls Department of Transport through this puppet minister. He wanted Zizi or this one. And perhaps the president became more comfortable with this one. And that's why he still wanted to have control. There's still going to be a huge mess in that department. And if this comrade doesn't agree to what Mbalula says, we'll observe it in between. She's likely not to come. And Zigzi is likely to be a minister of transport. Because that's what Mbalula wants. He still wants to control transport. The same way he's deeply heard by the police, by the way. The fact that he was removed from the Department of Police is still hating him. He needs a psychologist. Because it's the kind that never let go uh, of the departments because he feels entitled. That's why during the reshuffle, unprovoked, he said, ah, we were being removed here. We once being removed here as Minister of Police. We never complained. But he was removed before as Minister of Sports. Why is he not motioning sports? Because he doesn't care about that. The most important thing that has ever happened to him was police and uh, transport. You know, the leadership of the EFF, both in the provinces and national, have been saying to me, please, please, President, allow us to go for this guy. No, wait. Because they know our relationship and they're like, we are unable to go out full force because we don't want to be seen like we are undermining what you guys uh, have. But a man who gives an instruction at 2 a.m. Arobali. Ulala lawyer anare. Leskancha di bas. Muloi. Bushiw. Rovej. Reatushiwa or yo. Tadira tile. What is the problem? Mbaula said no buses. He issued this instruction. How do you do the uncall? Even this one of a minister instructing the bus operators not to give buses to the EFF must be declared unconstitutional. So not only should we go to the public protector, it must go to court. That she acted unethical. And those people of the buses are not hiding it. They say so. They say, no, the minister told us if you know what is your worth, don't give them buses. You, you even take your buses, you're only allowed to go to Mamilodi. So why would you take people to Pretoria? But these are the same people who have buses operating in Mamilodi on special trips, hired. They take supporters of the ANC to the same Pretoria that way. They were, how many days before? three, four days before, they took ANC supporters to Pretoria, the same guys. When they're supposed to take the EFF, they are told, no, your operating license says Mami Lodi, so you can't go to Pretoria. That's abuse of power. That is an unethical conduct by incompetent minister of police, who's in, I mean, of transport, whose incompetence has been identified by the Secretary General of the ANC and put it there 
because he knows that he will control her and still wants to control that department. So we are not going to allow that. Not on the EFF. And we, we, we really appreciate uh, Dr. Androsi and the RCT of Pretoria, of Twani. Upon hearing it too that there won't be transport, the buses are cancelled. They had to create means in between that time and the starting point of our march. That was quality leadership intervening in between 2 a.m. and 12, trying to find something. They managed to source 70 buses that refused to be part of this nonsense, said no, will come. And the taxis came in their numbers. Despite Santaco saying we are not getting involved, I think taxi drivers have lost my sister more than what you said whoever was op op operating in Tembisa uh, lost. Because the taxis were told normal, it's normal, go to work. Pirating, pirating alone in a text. Beep, beep, going that way. Beep, beep, coming back. Dololo. There are no people. They caused, they caused the taxi people. They caused them. Because had they said, no, there is a shutdown, stay at home, they were not going to lose anything. They were not going to lose anything. They were not going to gain money as usual, but they will not have lost money that they need disparately. Palapala will never end in one hour. Palapala. We are going to get to the bottom of this. This is just the beginning. Na Palapala will never end. That thing he did to Zuma, of taking Zuma to prison, he has set a precedence. I think he's the next president, in office or out of office, who will go to prison. We will never allow that. The DP asked a critical question, which you are all not asking. Let's say he declared the dollars, right? Let's say his business is above board. There is nothing wrong. He did everything right. Leave him alone. That's fine. But how do you answer the question that says the trading currency in South Africa is rents? How do you escape that one? It's by law, by the way. No one is allowed to trade using foreign currency. The president has agreed, the president has accepted that he has accepted dollars from a, a person who came to buy buffaloes using foreign currency. How do you pass that one? See? I say fit. I say fit. Let, even if he's not a president, leave the president things alone. If there was an individual who's found in position of foreign currency and he's asked, where did you get the money from? And he says, I sell buffaloes. But they say, but you are not allowed to sell using foreign currency. How do we pass that one? He has admitted he took foreign currency. Why are you not making an issue about it? Because that is the law. He has violated the law. And he will never go past that one. He ought to have accepted that he violated the law and resigned. Which he did, by the way, until Gwede and them pressurized him to stay in office against Praveen who said, Brother, you must go. Praveen, our relations, no, they are no longer... That's why SARS can release a statement on that Palapala person who bought the money, who bought the buffaloes. SARS was not going to do that. If the relations were still uh, nice between uh, Praveen and the president, SARS was not going to issue a statement that says that guy did not declare uh, the dollars. Even if they know, as long as it's not in the best interest of Praveen, SARS will not say it. Never. So by SARS saying that guy did not declare the dollars, you don't need anyone to tell you anything. In province language, connect the dots. Why would SARS do that? Because SARS is being used, by the way, as a political weapon. Political weapon. So 
we, we shouldn't even be 